The bus is back in school. Jerome Bettis, who powered through NFL defenses for 91 touchdowns and ran his way into the Hall of Fame, is once again at Notre Dame. You are Notre Dame class of? Oh, my goodness. Class of 2022? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I didn't think about that. 27 years after he earned that nickname in college, he's here to finish his business degree, more than twice the age of his fellow students. What's it like to be back at school at age 49? <laughs> it is so strange uh, because I am I'm so behind the times. I mean, I'm a, a dinosaur. I don't know where anything is. I'm, I'm struggling with the technology. They take notes on iPads. He uses a pen and gets lost in new buildings. But some things are familiar, like the frigid January weather. Jerome, where are your gloves? I left my gloves. I... <laughs> Four courses from graduation, Bettis is just another senior, sort of. Everyone kind of knows who the boss is, especially at Notre Dame. Bettis left Notre Dame his junior year for the NFL. A 1993 first round draft pick for the Los Angeles Rams, he became a power running icon with the Pittsburgh Steelers, a six time pro bowler, Walter Payton man of the year, Super Bowl champion, but not a college graduate. Why is it so important for you to get that degree? One, that I complete the task at hand. That's what I wanted to do. Also, I promised my mother that I would get my degree. But most importantly, I have two children. For them to see dad finish a commitment, I think it says a lot uh, to them. Are you a better student at 49 than you were at 18, 19, or 20? I, I am a much better student at 49 because I want to learn. I want to know all of this information. To put to work in his current businesses, trucking, staffing, development, and marketing companies, as well as a TV personality during the NFL season. This week, this is the only thing that counts. 27 years later, Bettis' football scholarship is still good. Of the 21 members of his football class, 20 earned their degrees. Notre Dame President Father John Jenkins says Bettis will be the 21st. I say to all our coaches uh, that, uh, that there are three things we should be concerned about. First is integrity, uh, do things the right way. Second is help these kids get a degree and do well in their lives. And the third is, is winning on the field. And J Jerome's getting a degree after all his success just underscores how important that is. Back in the locker room where he first found national fame. I was somewhere right in here. Bettis shows me the traditions. Now, the first sign, you've got to make sure. And that one, you just want to tap it because there we go. Today, pursuing a different kind of glory with the same enthusiasm. This is that, that moment where you, it, it's all coming together. I mean, right now, it's, it's got me itchy. Are you ready to go? <laughs> I'm not ready to go. I'm excited, though. This May, he will graduate at Notre Dame Stadium, fulfilling the promise he made to his mom. This is uh, education-related, and you can never take away the education. Finishing one of the best runs of his life. Now this story was a whole lot of fun for me to shoot because I'm a Notre Dame grad and I serve on the board. And over the years I've crossed paths with Jerome and I've always found him inspiring, but never more so than what he is trying to accomplish today. Guys, oh, so wow. admirable. I think yeah. it should be so the commencement story. speaker yeah. at his own graduation. Absolutely. How cool would that be? <laughs> and what about those what about those kids in his classes? Like it, again, just you're sitting in your math class, and all of a sudden you're like, what? That the bus? That's the bus. That's the drone. You know what's funny? Yeah, well, what's funny, because they're all masked. I mean, he can walk around campus pretty anonymously because he's masked and in heavy winter clothes. But when he sits in class, he's obviously older. And then when they ask his name, it's like, you know, the light bulb goes off in the kid's head. Is one of the kids said, he's got a wife, two kids, and four businesses. I'm going home and doing homework and sitting on the couch watching the yeah. Food Channel. <laughs> and it's kind of like, they're, you know, they're on different planes. But he participates in 
in class, and he said the hardest thing is not to keep raising his hand the whole time. Oh, so Aaron Thompson, he loves it. Great story. That's it is so great cool. story. And it's inspiring. He doesn't have to go back. You no. know. And I no. want to. We would all love no. to go back to college at some point. No. Just no. Oh yeah. No. Oh no. Yeah. College is great. No. Yes. Oh, I've seen back to school. Back. Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah. I'm going back. Yeah, we are. We're going to go back to college. We're, I just want to go back to the. We're pledging. The, yeah. Definitely. Frank. Thank you, Aaron. Come on, Spanish. That was wonderful. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.